hello friend welcome to my channel technical hacking today in this video i will show you how to configure user bridging function in, in huawei olt for voip or intra communication of in devices so here i have logged into one of the one of the huawei olt ma5683 model so once you are done with creating dba profile service profile line profile and ONT registration make sure you enable a user bridging function and VLAN bind service in order to work VOIP or intercommunication inter between your in devices so let's begin so I'll create one of the VLAN for VOIP so here I will create VLAN 27 and I'll provide description so I have created one VLAN 27 and mentioned the description VOIP and now I will tag I will pass this 27 VLAN to the uplink port so here my uplink port in this world is 0 slash 7 1 this means the board number 7 one number port is uplink port and I will tag between VLAN 27 to uplink port for that we will issue the command port VLAN 27 0 slash 1 so let's verify the number of VLAN tagged in this port so here you can see the configuration of 0 slash 7 1 port now you can also so the VLAN in the mention port for that you see the command display port VLAN 0 slash 7 here you can see the VLAN port 27 and these VLANs are tagged in this uplink port so now we will move to creating VLAN service profile for that we need issue VLAN service profile now give profile id give and profile id i will here mention profile id 10 and give profile id profile name i will give profile name i have given the name service profile 10 so make sure you enable the user bridging function user bridging enable and make sure you don't forget to issue the commit command so that the so that your command will be executed so issue commit and your command will be executed and saved so let's back from this conversion and now let's bind the villain 27 or the voice VLAN to the mention profile ID for that we will issue the VLAN bind sorry profile and issue the VLAN list so we will get our the voice VLAN is 27 and we will map this voice VLAN to profile ID 10 which we have created here So let's verify the configuration. So here you can see the VLAN 27 has been created and it has been passed to the uplink port. And here you can see the VLAN service profile has been created with profile ID 10 and profile and service profile 10. User bridging function is enabled and the VLAN 27 has been binded to profile ID 10. So after doing this, we will be able to test view IP services or interact communication between your end devices before that make sure you have created DBA profile service profile or server profile or line profile and the gem map gem and you have mapped the gem mapping VLAN to that profile and also you have registered the ONT to, the, to your OLT and once we are done with this all 
your VoIP services should work. If you don't know how to create DBA profile, server profile or line profile and add ONT or register ONT to the OLT, make sure you visit my other videos in my channel. I have already published those videos earlier. I hope you will get it. So okay friend, thank you for watching my videos. In case any query related, do drop down your comment in the comment section.